Now, switching gears to the economy, U.S. President Barack Obama released the annual economic report yesterday, predicting a slow pace of job growth that won't dent unemployment very much. It's predicted to average 8.2% in 2012, Obama's reelection year. You may recall it's 9.7% currently. Now, Gerald Salenti, director of Trends Research Institute in Kingston, New York, is with me live to talk about these economic troubles. What's your take on this news that just came out? Well, to say that you can predict what unemployment is going to be in 2012 is purely a guess. Let's not forget in 2009, the Obama administration said that without their stimulus program, unemployment would top 8%. They got their stimulus program and unemployment hit 10.2%. So these are just numbers being made up out of thin air based on nothing. So do you think that that would be optimistic to even reach that unemployment in 2012? Do you think it's going to get worse? What's your take on where the economy is headed? Well, let's look at what they're promising. They're promising to create 95,000 jobs a month. You have to create 1.25 million jobs a year just to account for new people moving into the system. So they're not even going to be able to keep pace, even at their optimistic numbers, uh, with unemployment. So no, they, they, they're, nothing is being done. This is a stimulus-created job growth. The stimulus is now running out worldwide. We see what's going on with China, making their reserves higher for the banks, cutting back on their stimulus. We see the problems going on in Europe. The stimulus money is running out. When the stimulus runs out, the job numbers go down. Well, what about President Obama's job creation bill that he's working on now to help stimulate those aspects with lending of community banks and credits for businesses that hire employees? What do you think of that? Could that be, have optimistic results? The credits for hiring employees is minimal. They've tried it before. This is the same old story we've heard over and over again. And here's the big question. Where do you get the money to create the jobs? And what kind of jobs are going to be created? If there are more government jobs, just take a look at what's going on in Greece. Government jobs are the problem. It's not productive jobs. So no, this is, this is just more political jive talk. Now, you mentioned China. I actually want to talk about China. Chinese military officials have proposed to sell off U.S. bonds to punish the U.S. Meanwhile, the U.S. has just approved borrowing $1.9 trillion more dollars this year. Uh, so selling off more debt, do you think this spells an economic disaster? Well, it's going to be very difficult for China to unwind their positions without devaluing what they have. But there's no question about it. A financial war is taking place right now. Again, what's going on in, in Europe with trying to bail out Greece? So what if Germany and France come about and help Greece get bailed out? Then there's Portugal, there's Italy, there's Spain, there's Ireland. It's a global war is beginning. The first stages, of course, are the financial wars. And that's what we're seeing now. Of course, the Chinese response was in response to the United States giving more military aid to Taiwan. So uh, it, the Chinese are in a very difficult position. They have all this, this uh, U.S. treasuries that they're holding and reserve currencies that if they dump it on the market, they're going to be the end losers. Okay, really quickly though, because I just want to ask you, you said that China selling off those bonds would devalue their position. So do you think that they won't end up selling off those and are just trying to wield their influence? Well, they're trying to wield their influence, but they're definitely going to be in, at some point unwinding their positions in U.S. Treasuries and bonds. It, it's going to happen. As I said, this is the beginning of a financial war. It's being played out in front of us on the front pages of the newspapers. And people should watch it very closely. Well, Mr. Slenty, thanks for weighing in and talking about those financial wars you say are being weighed.